Charlo, where you at? Where you at, buddy? Tim Zhu. Yes, he called out Jamel Charlo. You heard what he said, you know, in very sarcastic fashion. The question I want to pose for the people today is, is he truly ready for Jamel Charlo? You know, Jamel Charlo, listen, I understand people trying to, you know, poo-poo his name, you know, because he went in there and did what he did and he lost to, you know, Canelo. We're going to get into that. But I want to remind the people, this man is Mr. Undisputed at the end of the day. He is the man in the division. And also, he's 35 and 2 at one draw, 19 wins by the way of knockout. We know this man is the truth, 33 years of age. He's a powerhouse, the Iron Man, you know, and I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. You know, the effort that I've seen from Tim Zhu today against Mendoza will not cut it against a healthy, motivated, driven, determined Jamel Charlo. I'm, I'm just, I hate to break the news to the people and tell me otherwise. See, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys that's not sipping the coffee and thinking Charlo was washed up, he trash. I do think that Zoo is a tough opponent, but does he really want that smoke with Charlo? Because like I said, these guys clam more, they beg, they ask for what they what they want, and he's claiming he wanted to come in, come to Vegas to fight Charlo. I'm telling you, I think it's gonna be a rough outing. But it, but listen, Charlo has to fight this man at the end of the day. He don't have to, but at the end of the day, I don't see you know after all these money fights that he trying because you hearing the Canelo, you hearing Crawford. It's getting to the point now uh, in boxing and right now with Charlo. In particular, does he even care about winning or losing? Or is it solely money? Is it solely business? Because if that's the case, you know, um, why is he clamoring for a fight with Crawford? You know, clearly that's a huge money fight, but nobody expects him to win. You went up two weight classes to fight Canelo, Saul, Alvarez. Listen, come on, man. You know, people, you lucky he didn't get knocked out in that fight. You know, he looked like Mendoza out there. You know, Mendoza and Charlo looked just alike. You know, they was just trying to survive. You know, at least Mendoza was actually throwing some stuff. But come on, Canelo's just a whole nother beast. And um, it was wild, man, to see. Uh, we all know the fight with Canelo didn't go as planned, you know, for Jamal Charlo. How he wasn't even supposed to be in that fight. If you want to keep it all the way 100 with you, it was supposed to be his brother, Jamal Charlo. But for whatever reason, uh, Jamal Charlo just couldn't. He wasn't. He, he, I, it, was, it was a lot of technicalities, you know. But but here, but here we are. We got to give credit to Charlo for even stepping in that fight. You know, nobody um, gave him a shot anyway, and he still went in there. So just want to point that out. You know, um, but it's time to give Tim Zhu his shot, though. I got to keep it real. You know, he earned it. That's one thing we got to say. You know, uh, no matter who wins, no matter what, you know, no matter if Charlo feel like he could just walk down Zhu or whatever, you know, at the end of the day, he's very dismissive of Tim Zhu. You know, whenever you hear Charlo talk about Zhu, it's all, all right, all right what, what, I'm, what I'm doing with Tim Zhu? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to fight there. I'm, I'm doing this and that. I'm, I'm getting up with Trump. I'm fighting. You know, that, that, that's the language. You know, but at the end of the day, he earned this position. I may have to get it on. Um, he, like I said, I like, I like the, I like him. The people would love that matchup, man. And no matter if people know that Zoo is a household name or whatever, people, people gonna know who this man is, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it real. I don't believe that he's gonna be Jamal Charlo. There's way too many openings. Uh, but he, this is a perfect time for for Charlo to just take this fight, especially after this outing. You know, the way he the way uh, he was opening up, man, I'm telling you, dude was catching him, you know, and Charlo was a powerhouse. So could you imagine if some of them shots came through? Uh, that's all I'm that's that's all I'm concerned with with um with this man. I think it could be a huge knockout. But let me know, like I said, let me not I, I don't even think it's a toss up right there. I, I hope that you know that this is not, you know, the the barometer, you know, barometer, pardon me. You know, but you got to give it to him, no matter what. You have to give him this fight. You know, I don't want to see him against nobody else but Charlo. 
it's starting to look bad. But Charlo keep ducking all these fights, you know, to fight people that nobody cares about. You know, you have to fight this man. And uh, let me know who you, what y'all expect. You know, and, I, and to be honest with you, he, he probably would be the favorite. I mean, when you seen, when he came off that fight with Tony Harrison, he straight violated Tony Harrison. I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about my man, part of him, I'm talking about Tim Zhu. So after that fight, that was a statement fight. When you seen that, you said, oh, Lord, this man ain't nothing to mess with. You know, and I, I think it caused a lot of people caused the pause. And Charlo was saying around that time period that, hey, listen, let me just get my hand together. Da 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 da. And we, and we and got all boxing pundits and all boxing fans around the world believed that after Charlo got himself healed and healthy, we was gonna see this fight. That's what we all believed. You know, um, but what happened was it was it was something totally different that the people just was not ready for, you know, come to find out he did not take the fight, you know, with him. He ended up going for something that was just out of this world, that people was trying to, it was a, tr a true head scratcher, because we was all with the notion that it was going to be Tim Zoo. So at the end of the day, we don't want to hold these fights up. I think boxers in a good rhythm right now, uh, given the fights, what people want to see. And um, give credit to Zoo. He said that, listen, he ain't ducking me. He's not ducking me. Number one, he, he fought Canelo. You see me? So let, let it be known right there. He ain't afraid of the lose. He ain't afraid of nothing. So it's not, that's not what it's about. You know, but at the end of the day, you got to go get your belts back. He, he, he called Tim Zhu himself the, the paper champion. He a paper champion. He, so at the end of the day, that title is always going to be kind of disrespected until he fights Charlo. And I think Charlo, I think that Zhu knows that. That's why... Right after this fight, he not doing too much celebrating, but I did see a sign of relief, like he didn't want to have the belt on his waist until he successfully defended it. But I know that he, he a lot of people are going to look at him kind of crazy until he fights Charlo. And Charlo put that situation out there, so whether he was trying to avoid him, because we got to understand, styles make fights, you know, so maybe that style that Zoo is coming with, you know, maybe it's a tough style for Charlo in his eyes and his training. Training staff might feel like that. But deep down, you know, these two are going to have to get it on. You know, um, let me know your thoughts in the chat. I definitely want to conversate with the people. Um, if you love boxing, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. You know, let me know where you see all these guys going next. You know, what's next for these guys? You know, it's... Like I said, boxing is an incredible place right now. It's like everybody's getting, we got another fight in the couple. We got uh, Fury about to fight. All these fights, you know, this is a beautiful time to be a boxer fan. I'm going to leave it at that. This Flight Sports TV. Make sure you subscribe. Peace and love.